in this video, we'll be doing your flat white, uh, cappuccino and latte. And that's, that's money, as I like to say. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, cool. So when we jump into it, remember guys that we're always dosing or using the same amount of ground coffee from the grinder, which is 22 grams. However, it might change over here on the button that we press, whether it's a small or a large. So we're always gonna be using the same amount of ground coffee from the grinder. So to make a flat white, we're gonna go through our normal process, which is um, putting our porta filter or tearing our porta filter on the scale, getting our coffee ground, extracting our shot, and then we'll move on to our milk. Um, and then we'll jump into that part and I'll show you the difference between a cappuccino, flat white, and a latte. Hello. My coffee's so nice. Great, so now that we've, we've gotten our shots ready, um, I'm just gonna present to you, you guys or, or just show you the different levels of froth using this clear glass. So we're gonna start out with our flat white first, then we'll go into our next, which is the cappuccino, and then third, we'll have our latte. So how I like to think about it actually, um, is it's almost like, in terms of levels of froth, it's like flat white is one over three, you've got your cappuccino, which is two over three, and you've got your latte, which is three over three. First up, we've got our flat white. Pour our milk into our jug, just below the spout, uh, and then we'll move on to purging our steam wand. So get the second jug, purge that out. You're gonna be using this jug to split in two if you feel comfortable and confident splitting. You don't have to, I would recommend it though. So you're just gonna pop your steam wand over there. And that is probably already enough for a flat white. I allowed very little air as you could hear and now I'm just texturing the milk. And now we'll jump into pouring. So remember our flat white is the least amount of froth. So we'll pour to the center of our cup there. Just gonna pour some hearts. Kind of see over there, that's a very, very little amount of froth there. That's probably our flat white there. Or oh, that is our flat white. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Um, let's jump into our cappuccino. So for the cappuccino, the first thing we want to do is we just want to decorate it a little bit. Australians like to decorate it with some chocolate. So we just decorate the base with a bit of chocolate. Just be sure to let that settle as well. Um, a lot of the time I haven't let it settle and then I try to pour latte out and it doesn't look the greatest. Again, following the same things we've been following so far, just pouring just to the start of the spout, um, purging our jug. For this one, I'm, I almost guarantee you're going to have to um, split into the next jug. Um, so remember now, before we start steaming, it's a cappuccino, so two over three. So that means we're gonna have to stretch the milk for a little bit longer. We're gonna need a bit more froth. So you can hear, froth, froth. Now I'm just texturing. And you're not hearing any hissing sound. Just texture, texture. And that should be okay. All you're gonna wanna do here, is because all that froth is on the top, you're just gonna wanna pour all the milk into the next jug. And that's, that's just to distribute the texture a little bit. Um, so we've got our cappuccino and let's pour from the top and then into the center of the cup. And that's our cappuccino. So as you can see over here, guys, that's our cappuccino. It's got the most amount of froth um, over here. So you can kind of see the difference between the flat white and the cappuccino. The flat white was sitting with a froth about around there-ish. Um, and then we've got our cappuccino at the bottom there. So here, you're obviously not gonna add way too much froth because then the beverage will just taste like someone's fighting through it. Um, I would say that it's, it's actually very similar to a cappuccino, but there's just no chocolate um, uh, on the base of the espresso. We're gonna be stretching for a pretty similar amount of time. So, 
and that's good. Texture, texture, split it into the next jug. So it's literally just pouring it into the jug. That sort of mixes that texture a little bit. You can see the milk looks a bit more textured there. And then when we pour, pour from high, and swirl, and then pour to the middle of the cup. And we've got our latte over there. So that's how we make cappuccino, flat white, and a latte. So there are a few things to consider. Just remember the most important thing I would say to remember is uh, the one over three rule. So one over three for your flat white, uh, two over three for your uh, cappuccino, and three over three for your latte. Um, and just add your chocolate on top of cappuccinos. It's that easy. Thanks guys.